The spacecraft computer has the job. It's doing the maneuvering. It's doing the rotation of the spacecraft around to make sure that it knows where it is and where it wants to go into the Pacific. And uh, so we watched it. It was all automatic. And uh, as we were coming down, of course, the, uh, uh, it started out at around f three Gs. And then we did uh, actually, we went up a little bit again, and then we came back down again. Despite the reputation of this area for rough weather, and despite the fact that this is the first time uh, that a spaceship of the United States has landed in the dark, and despite the fact that it was coming back from farther away and was coming back faster than any other American spaceship. And once we knew those chutes opened up and billowed, uh, we, we pretty well knew that this flight would be successful. We landed at nighttime. Deep breath that we were, you know, a sigh of relief more than a deep breath. Well, the latest is that the spacecraft is on the surface of the Pacific, 7,100 yards away. Uh, perhaps this is something even later. We now have it uh, at 6,000 yards, 6,000 yards uh, from the aircraft carrier Yorktown, and within half an hour, the uh, astronauts should be emerging from the spacecraft. It's because the, the seas were higher than we thought. Uh, we went into the, you know, the, the command module was conical. And normally we'd, have, we'd land on the big heat shield and sit like that. But because there was, we still had the parachutes that attached at that time, wind was blowing hard, that they pulled us over till we were upside down in, in the water. So we're all living, uh, hanging on our seat belts. Uh, upside down and we spent some time there until we had a method of using putting two balloons out that would eventually write us back up again. We are just thankful that uh, that the York Town was there and it was the end of the flight but more than that when I was on the carrier I thought back at this flight how chancy it was and everything worked out on Apollo 8 but it was for the people of the United States that this occurred that fortunately you know the Russians were going to put a man about the room, and we heard about that through intelligence, and that the, they were serious about going around the moon. They had to send Zon 5 around the moon with animals, uh, and it was successful. They were all set to send Zon 6 around. Uh, the animal flight was successful, except the, the re-entry was too great for humans. Uh, they were set, all set to send Zon 6 around. And so, yeah, to answer your question, uh, we, were, uh, we, we were very uh, serious that we had beaten the Russians. Uh, and, and they, of course, once we landed, then they had changed the, their whole plan about, uh, about space flight was sort of scrubbed after Apollo 8. On behalf of the entire Yorktown crew, a most hearty welcome aboard and congratulations on a tremendously successful flight. How about that, huh? Back on the, back, back on the ship again. <laughs>